On Saturday night, I turned to go in the trailer. And I knew. And the first words to enter my head, oh. And then, immediately, this thing's head ducks down. Pause it. Story's over for a day. Head home. Chill at home, you know, the loser shit. Another day tomorrow. So shit. Here at my crib. Press play Down. And I knew I was blind with something that wasn't a normal animal. I was in trouble. I quickly ran into the trailer, locking the door behind me, holding it as tight as I could. Yeah. Now I'm panicking, freaking out. My parents luckily are snoring away, but my sister's shaking me, wondering. What's going on? Why are you acting so crazy? And I told her, I grabbed her by the shoulders, and I looked her right in the eyes, and I told her exactly what I saw. She freaked out. And so now we don't know what to do. And we're talking really fast with each other, trying to figure out what it is that we need to do. How are mom and dad going to know? What if something happens to the horses? How do we keep the trailer locked down? And in the middle of all of our frantic, and in the middle of us acting so frantic, we can hear something very heavy and very large, boom, 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 walking around to the trailer. Before, it was out on the side of the trailer by our horses, but now it was coming up to the trailer and going around the trailer. Not the end where my parents slept, but on the one end where our big window is. Yeah, and immediately, uh... I tell my sister, you need to duck down now. I think this thing's going to get into the window. So we duck down and we hide and we cover our eyes, and we could hear it walk right up to the side of the trailer, right where the windows, and stop. And we could hear it breathing. This heavy, nasty, rotting breath, this horrible, nasty, almost like a smoker's cough, kind of raspy breath. And it stopped for a moment, and I just knew deep down it was looking into our trailer to try and find us. I knew it. I could feel it. I could feel its eyes on both me and my sister, because where we were... There was no really where to hide. We were completely visible. We were just doing our best to be closing our eyes and to not looking out that window. And we both mistakenly not had closed that window. Or, and we had both mistakenly left the blinds open. And we were not about to run over there now and close them. So this thing had full view inside the trailer of me and my sister. And now it knew what we looked like. Although it probably already did from us being outside. But now it had view of us in better light. After what felt like ten minutes of this going on, it quickly moved to the other side of the trailer outside. Boom. Boom. We could hear it moving. Boom. And now it gets behind the trailer and stops. And it, almost like the air was so still, you could cut it with a knife because the tension was that bad. We weren't really sure what to do at this point. My sister runs to the kitchen, grabs a butcher knife, grabs me a knife, and we both sit there waiting for this thing to shake the trailer or to break in or do something. We expected this thing to rip the walls off the actual trailer. We were that petrified. But then it goes quiet for quite some time. And it is so getting national attention because it's haunted. I was really nervous. It's one of the spookiest places in America. We've seen full body apparitions. There'd be no one in the hotel and we'd hear people walking down the hallways. We'd hear people talk. My mom and I had a saying that not a day goes by where we don't have activity. Pause it. Head to bed. Wake up in the morning for school. Another day of school. Great. Five in the morning. Let's head to school. Close my door. Head to high school, I guess. Well, high school, slash middle school, slash. Yeah. High school slash middle school slash elementary school. This is the only school in Glenwood City. In this city of Glenwood. In the south side city of Glenwood. So, yeah. Let's go to class. Head up here, yo. 
the morning class. Let's go sit down. Class dismissed. Cool. My second class, it's this class here. Good morning class. Class dismissed. Nice, my last class until the afternoon is here. Good morning class. Good morning class. Okay, class dismissed. Have fun at break. Okay, let's go down here. Let's go chill outside. Let's go chill. Go chill with you, I guess. Press play, yo. Have a blunt. What was I? Like, seriously, the only people in the building. It looks to be normal, but it's not writing any data. My name is Tracer. Oh, my name is Alan. Yeah. And we are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. My name is Tracer. My name is Alan. And my family owns the Hotel Josephine in Fulton, Kansas. Who are you? Take us for a tour? Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, my brother actually 
had that happen as well. And my mom actually had it happen. I can show you exactly what when I told my mom and my family what happened, they all kind of laughed and like, you're fine, you're yeah, fine. I you shrugged it off. I, felt, I feel bad now because I, I had it happen to me too. But it wasn't three nights later that she was in this room and the same thing happened to her. So it's a no bond. The bed shook for me too. It's a, it's a pretty yeah. common thing. Yeah, I've it, never heard of that. There's, we have a book here that's kind of like the um, hauntings of Kansas and we're actually featured in the book and that's a pretty um, like that was one of the reports that happened so other than that there's not a whole lot of things that happen on this main floor the meat mashed potatoes of uh, the dinner is actually on the second floor in the basement so I can take you up and stop and um, uh, reminds me of the shining <laughs> which pours a squeeze over let's go jump from money She's not here, my trouble is the money there. Let's go back. Go to my crib. This is my crib here. Sit down, yo. Press play. See why it's very hot. So I'll have a bond. This room with one of my friends and have to go in here. And this was actually, uh, actually a, like a recent occurrence that happened. So it was just three of my friends. We all actually huddled up on one bed. It's kind of embarrassing. But we did. We all slept on one bed. And um, they never had an experience, so they're not believers, but I've had my experience, and so I believe. And all of a sudden, it was about 3 a.m., we heard a baby start crying. And, you know, it's a hotel, so there's probably family members in the hotel up also. So we waited like five or ten minutes, and we got up, and we went downstairs because my mom was sleeping in the basement. It's hard not the basement, the main floor as well. And we asked her, we're like, is there anybody else that has, like, babies in here? And she's like, no, I don't think so. I think they're ghost hunting. So we went upstairs, and there's actually the two guys were staying here, and they were ghost hunting. So um, we heard a baby cry, and that was one of the freakiest things that's ever happened to us, and my friends are now believers because of this. So. Right here? Yeah, right here. We just heard a baby crying. It seemed like it was coming from the Buffalo room area. So. Huh. I wonder what that would be. Residual baby. Tomorrow was quite cross. Why not? Which is tomorrow, Thursday. Cool. Tomorrow is Thursday. Head upstairs, head to my room, head to bed. Five in the morning. Another day of school. Another day of high school, but this time I'm gonna wear a cross. It's true. See what do. It's true here. Press play. Oh, when they come back up, they, they, they called us and asked if anyone was in the room. We said, no, you know, we have cameras right next to the grocery place. We said we would know. Yeah. Every single one of these drawers were pulled out. Everything was, these were open. Everything was, all the drawers were pulled out and opened. Um, and we have no explanation for that. We have
some more money to this trick here whoever this is see obviously grab sees obviously collecting the money 
because when I, uh, you know, it disappears, it doesn't it's respawn. It's not like Minecraft, for fuck's sake. So, see, obviously, talking, taking it somewhere. But, at least I'm helping her. That's all, that's all that matters. At least I'm helping, help, helping her. My crib here. My crib, yo. This is my place here. Press play. The fun little on those disposable cameras. That was blind. Then you develop them at Walmart. We all took a fun photo right here in front of the mirror, and what actually we captured was yeah, um, an extra hand that we still really. Everyone's hands were up here. There was just this one extra hand that was off to the side. We, I wish I had that photo, but I, I don't. But that was something pretty cool. But that's, uh, that's basically it for this room. Actually, that's not it for this room. I'm sorry. We had a long-term guest uh, here that did construction. So Three, two, one, action. Something did not want to hear it. That was it. They wrote the book. Morning, work, school. Tomorrow is Friday. So somewhere. Seven in the morning. Let's head out, go to somewhere for the day. Why not, right? May as well. Why not go to somewhere for the day? As you can already tell, I live in a valley. Because look, there's mountains around in the valley. So, as you can tell, I live in a fucking city. It's a small city in the valley in China. So, yeah. There's not much to do here, but yeah. There's nothing I can do. Let's go chill somewhere. Let's go chill out there maybe.
Go chill. Here, boy. Push, play. Mommy, I saw eyes in the closet. Um, that was <laughs> a big red flag. Oh, boy. Trevor talked about paranormal. We never said that this was the room, so that was a, a big deal. That's creepy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're innocent children as well, so they don't know anything about ghosts. Right. Or so. That that little girl that was bouncing off the walls, hyper, that for the rest of the night, she she went like this. Um, the, the tour group that was here, she asked, hey, do you want to tell everyone what happened to you? And she's like, like, do you want your mom to tell you, to tell everyone what happened here? And she's like, no. So whatever happened in here really shook her up, so, yeah. So, it's strange, would it be like glowing eyes or like normal? I, we, we didn't get that out of her. <laughs> she, she, was, no. she was quiet ever since that, so. Nothing in this room, um, and, and uh, honestly, they didn't really keep a lot of documentation. Oh, my best friend just texted me. She said, I'm here in the city again. I'm back from the vacation. Come swing by to my house. Cool. Let's go to my best friend's bloody house, Kelly. See, her parents is rich, basically. Her place is just here, basically. This is her place next to my my place. Hey, my parents just bought a cabin for us to go chill on the weekend. Do you want to come? Sure, let's go. Cool. Come on. Gang, gang, you heard. So where's the cabin at? Down here. Down here. Yeah. That's a cabin over there. There. Pretty much. Cool. Here we are at the cabin. Place. Yeah. Nice cabin. I know. Kitchen. Ranch room. Bedroom. Bathroom. Show the backyard. Yeah, the backyard. It's one bed. Yeah, I know. Cool. Sit down. Press play. Um, we do know that oh, back Helen. in the day, uh, sick people would come to hotels to essentially... Public cameras, how would you all? I am proud of you, Helen. And the second floor was all and I am actual bedrooms. Um, so which is why these rooms are kind of... Boy, Koja. So Best friend, you got the lot of you, my best friend. Sure. Yeah. Yes. I'm Mr. Jack. You got the lot you do. Oh, no, baby. I don't know if that's him, if he's a grumpy old man. When he died in the building. Yeah, he died in the John Wayne room, and I missed that. He died in that John Wayne room where I saw that white mist float across. Well, I'm not 12 anymore. I just turned. For ten years, the closet area specifically, um, we had people 
I mean, not Shark Cartoon, I just come um, 12, yeah, I just come 12 years old. Tell me, tell them how much they can have. 40, 43, no, 44. I don't have the footage, but they do. Yeah. Let them watch. You must stop holding. I do so, Kevin. Oh, no, baby senpai. Let them watch. I'm the senpai. Yep. And then we all somehow crammed up on this bed again. So we set a rim pod right here late last night. God damn it, I got bitter. And you tell me. Thanks, baby. You're from Scotty Kelly. I know. I am. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to do that. I'm not sure if you're going to be able Fuck off. Yo, a senpai is hungry. Got it? I'll go cut you up a burger. Good girl, Karen. Let's go. Who's a burger? Cool, let's eat. Let's see if you're all cocking up. Good or bad? God damn, you know. God damn, you're cocking up. Good, Karen. Thank you, John, or baby senpai. You're welcome. So, go on. I want you to pregnant me. Cool. Cool. Okay. Strangely enough, I've got like my head is uh, crackling. I don't like that. Love your thoughts, Frank Kellen. Love the two baby Daddy Senpai. You've got a lie on your Senpai Daddy.
this room right here back into the hallway. Oh! oh. Thank you. It came out and stepped again right next to us. To me specifically. Thank you. Can you walk towards that end of the hallway, please? No bone.